The first is the aggregation of all forms of geospatial and design data available for the designer's project. For our demonstration, we will provide underground electric service to a small subdivision. The first step is to identify a template that maintains the industry model and all of our utilities individual standards for a project of this type. The second step is to identify the geographic area in our service territory where the project is to start. The next step is to bring in GIS data for the surrounding area, including parcels, streets, and individual properties. Then the next step is to bring in existing facilities. The existing electric facilities in this case will come in automatically symbolized and ready for design within AUD. The final step is to bring in the actual subdivision plans provided by a developer, usually in the form of an AutoCAD DWG drawing. Because they're geographically correct, they should drop right into the project in the proper location. All of this information together provides everything we need to design our project.